Merry Christmas, everybody! It's Christmas, and what better time than Christmas to tell a tale? An undertale. <laughs> now, I don't know too much about this game. I've heard a little... I've heard actually a lot about it, but... Um, I haven't really played it myself or watched too much gameplay of it myself, but I'm getting a lot of people telling me, Oh, yeah, it's great. You gotta try it out. Apparently, you can... When you kill somebody in this game that's a major character, I don't know if it counts for everybody, including, like, basic enemies, but it's basically an RPG where if you kill somebody, they're dead. They're gone forever. And I heard a little something about, like, the first playthrough affecting the second playthrough. So at first, I was going to murder everybody for fun, but... Now I guess I'll just wait until the second playthrough to do that, to do the bloodthirsty run, you know what I mean? So, um, I'm pretty excited. Uh, I'm also excited because Santa brought me this awesome gift, if you can see it. says, it says, to add mundane from Santa. Now, you probably can't see it very well, actually, because Santa's not very good at choosing contrasting colors for his wrapping. Black ink on this red. Okay, but anyway. So, but we're gonna wait until the end of the video to open that. So this way we can get into some sweet Undertale action. Let's go! Long ago, two races ruled over Earth. Humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebbet 21X. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Okay. So, well, what name do we always use to name our fallen human? No, that's not correct. M is not the name that we always use. Mundy. But wait. Don't we play as a girl in this game? Yeah, whatever, it's Mundy. We're Mundy. Let's go. Alright. It looks real retro. I mean, this looks like 8 bit retro. Okay. Any way to, like, run? Okay, so this. So that's item. No items, I assume. How do we. How do we confirm? I'm. I'm okay. Well, there's our stats. Oh, I guess it's kind of like. Doesn't look like much of a gender. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm, you're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. Baby. <laughs> Flowey the flower, just like practically breaking the fourth wall here. Telling me that he's gonna teach me how things do it. Okay, okay, okay. I I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. I turned it to a heart. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can go strong if you gain a lot of LV, so levels, I guess. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. <laughs> what? You want some love, don't you? 
Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Yeah, I'll take some love. Down here, love is shared through. Oh, so I can move this heart around. What? Little white. Friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. Okay. What? You idiot. What? Hey! In this world, it's kill or be killed. What? That's not what they, that's not what they told me. This is not what I was told at all. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die? Why? You're supposed to teach me, jerk. Oh, what? So what do I do? That did, did that hit me? What? Oh, what happened? <laughs> what a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Oh, oh, so I guess this is the real instructor. That, yeah, that, that, that Flowey the Flower is a dick. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. All right, following you. Can we, can we... No, no. I always gotta see if you can go off the beaten path. All right, so what's this? The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. Hit points fully restored. Oh, and I can save now. All right. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. So, the ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. So what's this? What's this? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read sign. Really? Stay on the path. Okay. Uh, anything there? No. Water. Tranquil water. The first switch is over on the wall. Okay. What's it say? Please press this switch, Tori. <laughs> okay. Awesome. These puzzles seem easy. I'm sure I will destroy this game. Go on. Press the switch on the left. Wait. Please press this switch too. What if I hit this switch? No. No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. Okay. I even labeled it for you. <laughs> Toriel thinks I'm an idiot. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, capitals, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you're in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Alright. You encountered the dummy. So how do I... I wanna... I wanna... How do I... How do I... How do I... Put it... I don't wanna fight, though. No, what? What? What happened? Oh, now I can act. Talk. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won. You earned zero experience and zero gold. Okay. Ah, very good. You are very good. All right. I'm going to try to do this real nice and try to save everybody. There's another puzzle in this room. We're doing a Batman run. No kill, if possible. I wonder if you can solve it. All right, let's see. Why don't you show me? Frog it attacks you. How about... Life is difficult for this enemy. Oh, so you can find out, like, information about them that you should have no right to know. 
You won, you earned zero. <laughs> what? That was it? The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Alright. Okay, so they're like guiding me through here or something? Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. What? You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. What? Okay, wh why, why do I have to forgive you for this? Nothing there. Okay. What's gonna happen that I need to forgive you? Oh. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Alright, I guess I'll be good. I just wanted to murder people on Christmas. Ring. Hello? This is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Oh, I forgot. Oh, I was supposed to stay in the room. So I have to, like, be obedient? I don't... Why can't I just do the puzzles? Come on, man, they're not that hard. Sell? Flirt? Say hello? This is Torio. You only wanted to say hello. Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't want to be flirting? I don't know. What? What is this? All right, we'll, we'll play it legit this time. But I, d I definitely plan to play this again. Come on, I want to ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. So, how long do I have to stay around here? I mean, I'm standing here. Look, I, I ain't got all day. Look, I'm not gonna kill people, but I'm certainly just gonna go through... Oh god, watch me get killed. Okay. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. Fully restored. Okay. Uh, yeah. You didn't explain these puzzles to me, but can you? I walk to the end of the room. I'm waiting. I, I, I'm going. I'm going. I'm sorry. I ain't got all day. What is this? Frog it hopped close. Alright. Life is difficult for this enemy. Ribbit, ribbit. Frog it doesn't seem to know why it's here. I took damage for that. Frog it didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply. Ribbit. Oh, you're supposed to avoid these things. So Flowey the Flower really lied to me. Seems reluctant to, f to fight you. Okay, let's compliment it. Alright, so I guess I have to dodge these white bits or whatever. Rocket seems reluctant to fight with you. Can I show it mercy yet or what? Hop, hop. Okay, can I, can I, can I show it mercy? Spare. Okay. Alright. So... I guess I'll just heal right here. <laughs> so 
So that was weird. So Mercy had an X around it, so I thought that showing it Mercy, I wasn't able to until... I mean, how long am I supposed to wait in that room? Wimson approached meekly. This monster is too sensitive to fight. All right. I didn't read what that said. Let me see what it is. <laughs> Let me do that again. I'm sorry, but it's fighting me. All right. So it's just surrounding me. As long as I don't... Avoids eye contact. So as long as you don't touch those white things. Okay, let's console it. Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. You won. So, this is what we do the whole game? Just try not to kill anybody? It says take one. Take a piece of candy? Sure. Monster candy. How do I get info? I don't want to use it. I want info. Oh, you have to hit it first. Info. Monster candy. Heals 10 hit points. Has a distinct non-licorice flavor. Alright, so what am I supposed to be doing here? Was I supposed to be waiting? What is going on with... What? This is Torio. You want to know more about me? Well, I am afraid there is not much to say. I am just a silly little lady who worries too much. Click. Alright, so what's this? Oh, no. What did I do? I should have waited or something, I guess. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, and I fell. Oh, man, I haven't played a game with random encounters in quite a while. So is it... Wait, is there just no way to get through here? Oh. I'm an idiot. All I have to do is go over here. Right? I am such an idiot. I'm like, well, where's the gap in the holes? Ring. Hello, this is Torio. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? I don't know if this is a guy or a girl, so, like... I keep switching back and forth between voices. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Now that is actually a tough choice. It really depends. It depends on what it's in. Man, um... <laughs> the hardest to to me. I'll go with cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Click. Does that make a difference? Hello, this is Torio. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? No, I don't. It's actually a tough choice. I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't actually dislike butterscotch. Three out of four gray rocks recommends you push them. What? <laughs> Oh, man. Please don't step on the leaves. Oh, okay, so we just have to follow this path. Alright, so it was like there's another patch right here, yeah? We have to go around to the end. Boom! Okay, that wasn't too hard. So three out of four rocks recommend you push them. So that means that one of these is not going mold, to... Mold small block the way. Check. Stereotypical, curvaceously attractive, but no brains. This is so weird. This... I gotta tell you, man, this is pretty crazy. Weights pensively. Uh... So it's attractive, flirt? You wiggle your hips, mold small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. So this is how they attack, I guess? Can't wait to see how bullet hell that gets. All right, so how about Mercy? All right, all right, we're doing good. So one of these we don't push, right? Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. 
Yes, I want you to move some more. Alrighty, how's this? Oh, you jerk. Hmm? That was the wrong direction. Okay, think I got it. Well, thank you. Was that helpful? Yes, it was, in fact. Thank you. Oh, come on, Mr. Rock. You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. This guy... It seems pretty basic so far. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Okay, so basically save points. And they heal you too, apparently. Right? Is that is that correct? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It fills, fills me with determination. Yeah, it does. So I don't gain any experience from this. So does, does that mean I'm going to be level 1 the whole game and have to beat this whole game level 1? This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Okay. Man, this game is kind of crazy, to be honest. Oh, there's a little mouse. Oh, it makes a little squeak. That's so sweet. I'm going to call this a video right here because um, I have no idea what to expect, but we will be back for part two. But before we go, I almost forgot. How could I forget? It's sitting right here. We have to open our present from Santa. Got a nice little bow on it and everything. All right. Let's see what you got me, Santa. Oh, wow. Santa got me a gaming headset. That's pretty sweet. I thank you, Santa, wherever you are. I guess it's time to upgrade. Just doing an unboxing video right here. Well, I can't try them on right now, can I? But thank you so much, Santa, for your gaming headset. I look forward to using it in the future. This has been Admin Dane. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday, and I look forward to playing more of this game in the future. I probably will play a lot of this game, actually, because I'm going to be super curious about what happens when you kill a lot of people, when you're really nice, when you're kind of in the middle, you know... Maybe somebody insults you, so you kill them. I don't know. I, I don't know if, if I kill those guys, do harder ones come because I'm gaining levels or because I'm replacing them with, you know, even worse enemies. I don't know, man. I've got a lot of questions. Uh, hopefully, you'll join me while I answer them. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like below. Maybe give me a subscribe if you want to join me on this journey. Other than that, again, and as always, thanks for watching and have a good one. Did you miss it? Spider Bake Sale down to the right. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. Cannibalism?